Hey guys, the name is Chris Parocci. Welcome to my Gear Corner series. Something unexpected happened to me. Even though you guys probably know I work at Toman and most people think everyone working at Toman equals Harley Benton. What's well, really not the case. I don't have anything to do with the brand. Um, I have them every now and then in the workshop where I work and you know modify guitars or prepare guitars or whatever set up guitars, but um, I have nothing to do with the brand itself. Um, and I fell in love with one, so I had to buy it. I bought my first Harley Benton, and uh, that was quite a surprise, to be honest. Let me show you the guitar. Well, here it is. It looks crazy. This is one of those Fusion 2 double humbucker Wilkinson tram models. And uh, this is the guitar that was at TGU 19. Um, I've seen it on the Harley Benton booth and I was like, oh, hello, You're looking good. And everyone was pretty excited about the guitar. I didn't have even time to test it because I was too busy shooting uh, videos and running around. After TGU, I had time to check out the guitar and I was pretty damn surprised and I knew I have to have it. So why would I buy a Harley Benton? Some of you guys know me already. I love vintage style guitars. My Tele is my absolute go-to guitar. Uh, my second guitar of choice is my Les Paul right there. I would definitely not need another T-type, S-type, single cut guitar. But what I didn't have for, I don't know, long, long, long time, probably like 10 years now, is a more modern kind of guitar. So I was really looking around, checking out, you know, all sorts of brands uh, doing these kind of guitars, Ibanez, Jackson, Soar, Friedman, whatever, you name it, you know, I've checked out a, a number of guitars and some of those were really good, but I tended to like guitars that are really expensive, which makes you want to think twice and sort of, you know, be an adult. I knew I'll have to explain it to my wife too. And, um, yeah, and just really, I don't always use a guitar like that. Mostly, I will, I will take my tally anyhow. Tuners are staggered WSC locking tuners. I was like, what is that? You know, it's, it, it is actually a brand. I checked their website and these tuners cost around like 70 bucks, which is way more than I expected. But they're stable, nice, and sort of matte silver. Looks fancy. Roller string tree for uh, less issues with using the tram or bendings. Uh, works fine. New bone nut. Well, it's a sort of a plastic composite, something that's supposed to react like bone. The strings don't get stuck in it, which is nice. Um, yeah, so it works. Stainless steel frets on a baked or roasted maple board. 
The, the front is not that flamey, the back is crazy flamey. I'll give you a few nice shots of it. And most importantly, it's not ridiculously thin. It is thin and it is a modern neck, but it's not as thin as some other guitars are. Uh, my hands are used to big old necks and uh, this feels still like home, even though it's way thinner than some of the others, especially way thinner than the 58. Reissue my last poem. <laughs> Roswell Anico 5 humbuckers. Uh, they're coil splittable with this uh, mini toggle. They work fine and they sound pretty damn good. But if I'm honest, I think at a point I will change these. I love this um, bell-like presence that you get from my telly. <laughs> and even though it's ridiculous to expect that kind of uh, frequencies going on from humbuckers, I know that there are a few that do that and uh, I enjoy those humbuckers most so I will probably you know um, experiment with those later on if these will sound better I will stick to these because they are really good especially uh, coil split it's incredible how how good it sounds even though I don't enjoy coil split sounds on humbuckers very often the tram is the Wilkinson tram you know it it's modern it's stable it's ridiculously good the electronics are pretty good especially for a guitar that costs less than 400 euros. Uh, just one euro less, but it's still less than 400 euros. <laughs> um, alpha, potential meters, and um, just overall nice quality parts. So um, I was impressed by that. I expected something more basic inside, but it's surprisingly good. Yeah, and the body is, it looks like it's a flame maple top. I'm not sure if this is only a wooden um, binding on it because this is a crazy flame maple binding and then there's the silver sparkle on top of it. Uh, I'm not sure though if this is only a binding on a normal non-flamed maple top or if the whole top is that crazy flamey. I'm not sure about it, but it looks beautiful. It's a Sapelli back three-piece. Um, uh, the joint is pretty much in the center, whatever, but this could change, you know, on, on each and every guitar. Um, it's funny enough, it's also flamey a bit. choosy and picky and everything um, and hardly get inspired by gear but if I get inspired I'm so into it and I'm, um, I get new ideas and it helps me be creative. The top is so pretty I will just leave it how it is but I was thinking about maybe removing the finish on the sides and the back and uh, oil and back set for the natural look that's something I will probably do at a certain point but first of all I just enjoy the guitar and I enjoy having a guitar for not a lot of money that doesn't need a modification right away it sounds good it feels ridiculously good and it has um, the the 70s vibe uh, glam rock thing going on and that's that's funny <laughs>
Pros, good price, crazy specs. Some of these parts uh, would be as expensive as the whole guitar is if you would buy them aftermarket. Very nice playability, stable neck, very good sound, just overall very good uh, wood quality. Cons, the only thing I can think of is the pickups, even though these are pretty damn good. I mean, I hope you like the sounds in this video. I definitely enjoy the guitar as it is. I don't feel like, oh my God, these have to go right now. Not at all. It's just a matter of taste and, you know, pickups are so subjective anyhow. There are pickups that fit my taste even more. So at one point I will probably go for it and experiment with those. <laughs> So new guitar day for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was useful in any way. Uh, meet you down in the comment section, ring the bell and hit subscribe if you enjoyed this one and I'll be back with new stuff next time. See you soon. Cheers.